In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make cartoon eyes. So let's get right to it. Let's go to the toolbar and select the oval tool or press O. Now we don't need a fill right now so we'll select the fill color by clicking on the bucket and then going below it to the no color icon. So now you should see a red line straight through the fill color. Now we're going to draw a circle in the center of our screen. You want to you're going to want to hold shift so the x and y scale are locked. So you get a perfect circle. Go to select tool or press V. Select your shape. Go to align and align it horizontally and vertically. If you don't have your align, you can go to the windows and you can bring it up. Draw another circle inside of your circle. And we're going to do the same process by aligning it. Now, there's too much of a gap in between these two. So I'm going to select our inner circle, press Q for free transform, get one of the corners, and hold Alt. Alt will allow me to increase the size of the circle from the center point like so. As you see it is not scaling properly. By holding shift you'll get the perfect scale. One more circle to draw and that is in the center. This is the pupil of the eye. V for the selection tool. Select the inner circle. Align it to the center. Make sure two stage is selected. and we make one more circle we don't want to make it inside of the eye we want to make it outside of the eye and we want to, we don't want to make it a circle we excuse me we want to make it oval a oval shape that will fit around here we're going to use this for the glare or the shine of the eye i selected it with a with the selection tool and now i go to the one of the corners I want to rotate it around 45 degrees and then bring it up here, maybe a little bit off the eye. And now what I want to do is I want to remove all the parts, all the stroke that I don't need. Everything inside this new circle you just put, you don't need it. Not here, not here. And this last bit, all the way at the very top, you will not need it select it and delete it. Now it is time for the colors. We go down here to the color fill color. We go for black. We hit K for the bucket tool and we fill this outer with a black color. Now we want to and we also want to fill the pupil black. Now we want to get this inner color. This is going to be the color of the eye and we're going to use a linear color. So go to your color swatch, open it, and go to linear. I'm going to want to pick a uh, I don't know what color. I'm going to pick a red color. Now make sure one of these colors are black. And the other color is the color you want. Close this. Now it's going from left to right, and you want it to go horizontal. You want to go vertically. So hold the press F tool for the gradient. Press F for the gradient tool, and we want to rotate it so the black is up top, and your color is on the bottom. And we we'll use this tool right here to pin. We we'll use the center arrow to pinch it down a little and we go here to move its source a little bit down here and that's about right. All right so it's perfect right now now what we want to do is select the whole eye and we don't need the strokes anymore 
all the fill is doing its purpose. We use the strokes as a guideline. Now we don't need it anymore. So we'll highlight the whole thing and go to the stroke color and click on the no color. And this removes all the strokes inside of your drawing. Now your eye is done. Highlight it. Control G. Q to scale it down. And hold Alt while it's selected. And drag. You got two eyes now. I'm going to go to the rectangle tool. Make a rectangle. Selection tool. Change the stroke to black. And use the selection tool to shape it a little. And that's one happy camper. Thanks for watching on Enter Learn. This is Worth.